So today we got, I like to call it a recovery run, uh, just about four miles, kind of at my slowest pace, just enjoying the run, not pushing myself too hard, but four miles, um, we'll see what pace we end up with, and yeah, we're just going to enjoy it out in the sun, beautiful day. It's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, so I started this journey really to run like a half marathon. Um, of course, everyone starts somewhere. It wasn't beautiful, but over time, I really just, I kind of followed this rule that I learned from Nick Bear. If you know Nick Bear, shout out Nick Bear, but I learned this rule from him and it's called like the 10% rule. So every single week for my distance runs, I really try to focus on increasing 10% from last week. So... Two weeks ago, I ran 7.2, and then this Monday, I had to run, I think it was like 8.9. The math is somewhere in there, but it's around 10%. Um, so just each week with the distance, I try to do that. Uh, for my push days, we work on pace. So I get out here, I set a certain miles I'm gonna run, and I literally push myself for the fastest pace possible. I think my best has been like an average of 6.45 for four miles which is pretty fast for my body type um, and then the recovery run I like to get out here and just really let all of that go don't focus too much on that um, and just kind of you know let my body recover let my body sweat and just go at my own pace without worrying about distance or about pushing myself too hard so that's kind of how I choose to increase each week and uh, so far it's working great run great run Oh, four miles, 30 minutes and 52 seconds at a seven minute, 43 second per mile pace. Not bad. Not bad. Like I said, recovery run. So that's exactly what we did. Feel good. Beautiful morning. Let's do it. I just like to get out here and just think. It's honestly where I do a lot of my brainstorming, come up with different ideas. Just to be able to look out and just see this beautiful land. I mean, the cows, there's baby horses back there. I mean, it's beautiful. I don't think you could run anywhere nicer. I don't. Woo! So today we're going golfing. Um, I've got to pick up some clubs because I don't own a pair yet because I don't golf. So this should be very interesting. Uh, we're going with a couple buddies of mine that golf religiously. So it should be fun. It should be fun. Um, I'm excited to learn and pick up some pointers from them. But like I said, it'll be interesting because I don't know the first thing about golf or what I'm doing. but gonna get good at it and gonna pick it up and gonna stay consistent with it if there's as a slim percentage that I'm any kind of good at it it'll get competitive but if I just not I'm not whatsoever that's not something that I'll let myself get into I don't know it's, I feel like it's a very fine line when it comes to stuff like that I don't know we'll see so here we have our oats but what I put in it is key. We go PB fit. We're going to do 32 grams of that. That should be 32. And then we do 30 milliliters of our sugar free syrup. And then for the extra carbs today, we're going 100 grams of blueberries. Mm. 
That's better. And we mix it all up. So I use One Up Nutrition. Um, Sydney actually has a line with them. Uh, it's the Miami Vice. It is the best flavor they have. I get like more of like just like an amped up feeling. You know, I get the jitters. I actually like the jitters. It's like that tingling feeling. Um, I just get that and it just really like it helps me focus more. So we talked a little bit about the pre-workout. My favorite being the Miami Vice from One Up Nutrition for so. for some reason. See that, <laughs> that pretty face right there? No, but yeah, this is the pre-workout. We're getting ready for a workout together. Back and by. Back right? and by. I think we're going to let Sydney run this. Oh. Sydney's going to run us through a workout. Yeah, I should have had I didn't even, we didn't even, yeah, conversate that, but. This is going to be our first home workout together. Other, well, we did like a quick little leg day, barely. So this is like yeah. our first real deal. First real deal. Workout. We're bringing y'all along with us, so. I know. That's going to be good. Eat your Wheaties. Strap your seatbelt on. Now let's ride. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a back day. I'm gonna run you through it. Jay knows nothing that we're gonna do. Zip. I'm, I'm kind nervous. of a warm up fool though. So like I always like to start with TRX and band warm ups. So I'm thinking that one of us has like like the blue band maybe. Okay. And then the other one this, and then we can swap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just so how many do. I got here? Coach? So you can do um, pull aparts and squeeze your shoulder blades do 20 of those okay and then after that you're gonna pull apart and come back like this okay and you've got 20 of those Perfect. okay wow i Ooh. know it shouldn't be that hard uh oh oh we're good i mean like just on each side 200 Another 200. 400 pounds. I think you're gonna be a-okay. So maybe just do one more round of each and then we go or you feel good? You're I probably good. warm. Okay, let's do it then. I'm warm like a hot pocket after five minutes in the microwave. It, well, it doesn't even take long out here. That's the, like just dripping. walk outside in this heat and you're like, okay, I'm warm. It's a little shaky. So the garage gym, we've got, so we love our single leg split squats, hit your glutes, hit your quads, we got this bad boy for that, we got a plyo box, um, and we have our rack of course, we're waiting on more plates and all that to come in, just got the bench the other day, put that bad boy together. We have the beautiful cable machine. Beauty of that is, is it's two sides. So we saw a couple that just had one, one stack. But it's nice because you like to do your flies. And just sometimes if we both want to do cables, I mean, we have two sides. And we have the treadmill here. Oh, we've got mirrors coming. Have you said that? No. Oh, yeah. And then back over there, we're getting mirrors put in. So that whole, whole wall is going to be mirrors. It's probably going to look so much bigger in here once yeah, we have mirrors. And then we got our dumbbells here waiting on more to come in. We've got 25, 35, 45, 55, and we're waiting on 10s through 50s to come in. And then we also got a leg press and hack, hack squat machine coming in too, so it's getting there. I'm realizing having a home gym, I like hardly ever leave the house. <laughs> like I should probably, like I'll go a couple days without leaving the house. I'm like, I should probably get out still and do something. But it's easy to do because there's like no reason to go to the gym. I'll still go to the gym sometimes to do like a heavy chest workout, but probably not. Are you still going to do that once we have more weights no. or no? Yeah, we're just not. Oh, and we have a, did you already say leg press? Yep. 
Yeah, I wasn't listening, but soon it's going to be, it's, it's going to be socked in here. Whoa. All right, set to, we're going to go up 10 pounds, pushing 60 each side. That's a total of 120. Quick math. Here we go. It even hooks up to that thing there. I think uh, it's pretty obvious that I'm leaning more into content, my dog. Leaning more into content, um, so as we see here, I'm doing a TikTok as well. So it's just kind of like a day in my life. It's like, why not? I think that I've battled and fought against it for so long, and it's just like, it's there. I enjoy doing it. So, kind of like, why not? So, yeah, I think we're on, what, video six or seven on the vlog. Love each and every one of you that are supporting and subscribing and sharing. I'm just telling them how much that I'm enjoying leaning into content. Just thinking of some some fire. I'm trying to drop some bombs. What? Might, might get in my David Goggins mindset real quick. So whenever I'm getting tired. Yeah. When I'm getting tired, I try to like just hype myself up. I'm just like, yeah, this is me. Me versus me. Just running. I think I, I said work, work, work. I love it. I love it. Me versus me. You versus you. It just is so hard on your body. <laughs> Day eight. Ooh. Golf boys in red. Okay, let's do some core, right? Or do you have one more set? Two more here. Okay. I like doing. I don't really like dumbbell stuff. For you do. We can do separate things. Because I like to do things like this. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, I'm a fit person, but when it comes to doing movements like that. Is it your wrist? It's just a very uncomfortable position for me. I don't know why. That and then like the elbow to hand. Yeah, those you are do. kind of brutal. Well, and also it's you're a bigger guy. Like you're like, it's kind of a lot of weight on your arms, you know? Yeah. Well, we can just both do our own thing then. We can be on our own. I'm sweating. I got self-tan dripping down my legs. <laughs> we just pulled in to Dick's Sporting Good and we're going to go see if they have any clubs to get my golf on a little later. Let's do it. Golf clubs, golf clubs, found them. Wow. Here we have it. I feel like a professional already. Start of something great. What's up? 
Good. How are you, man? Good. Anything we can help you out with? Or? Yeah, I'm looking for my first set. What are you looking for? for like... Um, cheap. To be honest with you, yeah, I mean, it's just something. Yeah, something just something to get into the sport. To see if I like it or not. Yeah. So I don't want to spend a ton, but. A lot of people buy uh, box sets for their first set, but you'll probably go through that pretty quick. Okay. You really got to just build a swing first. How, how long have you been playing? Um, today is the first day. Today I'm going with some buddies. I mean, I've gone and, like, we've hit before and whatnot, but, like, mm -hmm. nothing to where I've actually gone and played 18 holes, so. Understood. Today's gonna be you the first day. You know how to swing a golf ball, basically. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Keep my head down. So, that was a little harder than I was thinking. Um, a lot of great options, but we're staying to level one. Could have came in here and tried to go level three right away. Not gonna do it. Now that is swag. I might have to do this. Yeah. I like I like to like I like to look swaggy as mm -hmm. much as possible, you know. I love it. Like like to try to look like a professional golfer as much as I can, you know. Shirt tucked in. Yeah, shirt tucked in with the belt. Um, what color belt are you going with? The black. Black. We have a carbon belt actually, um, a Nike carbon belt, and it looks super sick. I'm trying to get the fit right too, man. For sure. I might do a shirt. Yeah, like do one of these Nike shirts. Uh, a lot of these Nike shirts are really nice actually. They are. Let's do it. Do I check out with you? Nah, so you're going to have to check out up at the front up there. With you. Absolutely. With the box set. Peyton, it was an honor. Thank you, you bro. I'll be back because I'm going to get good. Yeah, And absolutely. I'm coming back to shop with you. I got you, man. Thank you, bro. You guys have a great day. Top flight security, baby. But I bet the guys are going to roast me. Yeah. Getting these starter clubs, but... Hey, like I said in there, level one. We're not jumping. All the way to level three right away. That's just dumb. You start and you progress. Level one, and we'll get up there. Because I'm going to get good once again. Ugh. Clouds looking busy, dog. Yeah, these clouds don't look too friendly. And, you know, knowing Florida, it's probably going to rain. So, I don't know. I don't know what the game plan. I'm a first timer, I'm a rookie. I don't know what we do if it starts raining on the course. I'm gonna leave that up to the vets. Follow their lead. Let's go golf. Wind's kind of going. We got a bit of a breeze. Let's get it. Let's get it. Love you, dog. What you know about this place right here, buddy? What you know day. about this place right here, buddy? Come on. New drip. What's up, dude? Gunner. What's happening? Scott. 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 Nice, nice to meet you. Scott. Chandler. Hey, how you doing? Scott. Nice to meet you, buddy. Boys tried to. They tried to finesse me up to 700, but. I said, I said there's levels to this. So what'd you get, a full set? Full set. Okay. Bro, let me see. This is the Bro, best day ever. 300. Three, that's what I finally got the clubs. I mean, huh? I that, play. That's, that's, huh? That's, that's, that can be worked on. I like that. that You're making contact, on. that's better than me. I don't even know where that went. It's too far, buddy. It's probably a level that's seven. Where would you say you're at right now? My guy's got Jordans on the feet. Where am I? Khaled, my right? level? Yeah. One and a half. I think I've gained a. I've gained a half so far. How bad was it at Dick's? If that's a half step up. It's pretty bad. Ooh. Well, we don't need a shot tracer for that one. So, not too hot to start with, but. 
We got time. We got time. Looking for yet another ball. I just have to say the heck with that one too. That's a different. That's a different swing, though. Come on. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna get there. I told the dude at Dick's today, Peyton. I told you I was gonna get good. Shout out, Peyton. Shout out, Peyton. Shout out. Don't take seven hundred dollars. How you feeling so far with the uh, Let's Go Golfing, dog? We're getting there. I'm keeping the the vibes high. I'm not going to um, let them come down just yet. Or at all. Yes, sir. Boom. Yes, sir. See, that's huge Four. for us now, Dick. Oh. Like, it doesn't matter what I do. You want to go through? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm good. No, I'm good. Right. Jay Wood. Jay Wood. I'm the man, baby. Let's go golfing. Let's go golfing. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Oh my no God. way, Jay. <laughs> that's bad. No, that was not bad. Sound hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Gunner ballot for all the marbles. Dang. Oh, that wouldn't even break. That's crazy. It's crazy. GG's. Good game, my friend. Pleasure. Pleasure. See you guys next weekend. Party pleasure. Good business with you. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go jump off a bridge. <laughs> oh my god. Easy dub, sir. Golf is done. Next, we have some good old grubbing and eating. Something that I need. I feel like that's, that's the only thing I haven't done today is eat. So excited to do that. Gonna get home. Jump on the grill. Get some things going and then we're all gonna feast. My legs hurt, bro. My whole body is aching right now. Exhausted. I got no fuel. It's confirmed. I think I'm a nine hole kind of guy. Um, hey, I gotta work my way up to 18 holes consistently. Today we did, I think we did 16. We skipped a couple, but yeah, I don't think I could consistently play 18 and give it my all too hot not that good as of yet so nine hole kind of got confirmed man you were that was quick time, man. it's because you was you was tired from all them hollow ones right quick yeah did you get close? I did. Oh. I'm official now. Who makes hot sauce and syrup? Wait, what? He makes his hot sauce and syrup. Don't knock until you try it. Hey, this is good. Whatever. We'll, He's uh, dying to torture them naked in some way. 
No, oh. like I legitimately Chef want Jason. to paint a picture of me butt ass. I'm so bad. And like I want to hang it up. When we host so things like this. Well, I can't stop snacking. Like if it's on the counter, I gotta eat it. Like like a Roman statue. Waiting on these bad boys. When I was in school. Off of that. Chicken is done. Poppers on the grill. Next we'll go hamburgers. Let's grow. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not fucking playing right now. I can't even face them down. I can't see shit. Huh? Some of them are cooking, some of them aren't. Nah, we're good, bro. Good thing. Ah, come on now. A little hickory smoked pellets, man. Jalapeno poppers. Okay. Another Chef, day at the J. King household, man. Chef quarterback in the building. Come on, man. G Baby. That's it. Talk to him. 7% fat bacon right here, baby, on the all organic. Is that turkey bacon? Mixed in with a little That's bit of a turkey bacon. Yeah, that's right? a little bit of a Philly Delphi cream cheese, now. Hmm. All smoked and seared with a hickory pellet, baby. Come on. Talk to him. Smell that spice. Mm. Now I can't promise you the shit's gonna come out cooked, perfect, or burnt. We don't know, but this is smell. I think they say stay tuned on on these vlog things, man. Yeah. Hickory smoked That bacon's talking. What what's it saying though? What's the bacon saying? Yeah. Man, you can't hear it yet. Yeah, I don't even know what it's saying. To see if we can hook up the thermostat and see it cooks the... Yeah, it's out in the symbol car. If you want to, I'm just curious to see if it actually gets to like a medium rare.